What's going on, 5 Shark fam? AJ here with you with another Transfer Daily Update. And LA United have signed a new player. That's always great news. But before we get into that, let's get into the transfer rumor from over the weekend in Manuel Castro. The Estudiantes de la Plata winger is reportedly close to moving to Atlanta United on loan for six months, according to Cielo Sports. The 24-year-old Uruguayan has apparently fallen out of favor with manager Gabriel Molito, as he has only three goals in 27 matches. But he did score 11 goals for Montevideo Wanderers, his previous club, and which probably earned him his move to Estudiantes. He scored 17 goals and had 13 assists for the Wanderers in 87 appearances. But who knows, a change in system and a change in scenery could see us get the best out of Castro. And if he impresses, then maybe we could get him on a permanent transfer. Speaking of permanent transfers, Atlanta United made a new signing and his name is Matias Rosetto and we were rumored that he was in advanced negotiations with Atlanta United last week. He comes from Atletico Paranaense and Atlanta United acquired him with an undisclosed transfer fee using targeted allocation money and he will occupy an international slot. And reportedly, we do have him until December of 2022. Now, Carlos Bocanegra described him as a technically gifted midfielder who gets around the field well, and he looks to be a guy that can do a little bit of what Nagby does as he has that metronomic quality in possession. He holds possession well as he has a 89.3% pass accuracy in 71 games for Paranense. And he has 3.2 long balls a match average, so he likes to spread it out wide, it seems like. He crosses a little bit more than Nagby, but similar to Nagby, they aren't strong in the tackle. He fouls a bit more than Nagby does, though, who was quite good in not getting fouls called on him. He scored five goals for the club and he likes to shoot from distance and he has a rocket right foot. He mostly plays centrally, but he likes to drift left going forward and he's played at a few spots in the midfield, but mostly he could be deployed in a midfield three in a 4-3-3 or as one of the midfielders in a 3-5-2 when one of Barco or PT aren't in with Heinemann likely moving up or in place of Heinemann if the American doesn't start. But I want to extend a welcome to Matias Rosetto. Do you guys like the signing? Let us know in the comments below. But remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.